What do you get when you combine veterans, inmates, and puppies? You get a unique nonprofit called Hero Pups. Hero Pups takes shelter and rescue dogs, and we then train them to become support dogs for our veterans and first responders. And the inmate participants, they volunteer to train the dogs with the basic obedience. We're in New Hampshire to meet Laura Barker, a longtime dog trainer who started it all. Good. Easy. Good job. The idea for Hero Pups came when my son was injured in Afghanistan and I was in a military hospital. I was able to see a therapy dog help another wounded warrior. He was engaging. He wanted to go to his physical therapy. He wasn't just focused on the negative. He was focused on the dog and smiling. That was my aha moment. And I realized I could use my background doing rescue and working dogs to be able to help others. I went in the military right after 9-11, uh, went active, and did a tour in Iraq. Um, that's where I was injured. We went to meet a veteran named Derek DeFelice, who's seen that impact unfold in his life firsthand when he was paired with his hero pup named Nala. I got PTSD, which is pretty rough on anybody. Found myself not wanting to go into stores, not wanting to go out to eat, you know, basically turned into a loner. You know, I have somebody that's there for me at all times. You know, I have somebody that's gonna guide me in the right way. The dog doesn't care what you did. It doesn't, it doesn't care about what your backstory is. It cares about right now. How are you feeling right now and how can I make you happy? And that's why dogs are special. If, if I'm, I get one of those moments where I'm really just not happy and I'm really irate, you know, she calms me down immediately. You know, my wife's got her husband back. My kids got their father back. Having the service dog has changed my life now. Yeah, I'm a totally different person. Hero Pups was very lucky and we got a lot of attention very quickly. As they got more attention, their waiting list began to grow. So particularly when it comes to training the dogs, they just needed more help. So we needed to find more people that could become a puppy raiser. So we partnered with the Merrimack County Department of Corrections to help the puppies be trained in their basic obedience. If I can do something positive, you know, not only does it help me, it helps the dog, it helps the vet. We knew that these puppies are going to have an impact on anybody. What we didn't expect was how much of an impact it was going to have on the inmate participants. It makes me feel really, really good to help people. And I made my mistakes, but you know, I love you know seeing people happy. It's a feeling that I haven't had in a long time. So yeah. it's gonna be you know sad when when we have to give him up, but that's gonna be the the real gratification for me is the fact that you know he's gonna go off and help people in real need. Part of the reason we take so much time to make the correct teams and the teams we really feel are going to be a fit is that dog is going to be with that hero its entire life. There's going to be days that are harder than others and that dog's going to be there. Everywhere I go she's by my side no matter what I do no matter where I go. Ability to do that just brings back before the war. Before you know everything changed your life you know it brings everything back. Being able to use my background doing dog rescue and, and training is that I can help somebody else. And these service members, in my opinion, deserve every opportunity to feel better. And if providing them a rescue dog will do that, I'm all for it. Thanks for watching. One thing that I couldn't wait to ask Laura about was her last name. Do people give you a hard time about your name? <laughs> No, not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, I just married right. I, yeah, I picked yeah. the right guy with the right last name. Yeah. He was lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like it.